Hey, YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Guys, I uh, was watching a guy on, he has a channel called Mayhem County Living, and he was doing a very funny video regarding a squeeze bottle. And I was thinking to myself, for a long time, I've been wanting to do a video about all the different uses you could use a ketchup bottle for. Uh, go watch his channel. He's got some funny stuff on his channel. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. But, you know, I, I'm a frugal person. I hate to throw out... I'm a frugal person. I kind of hate to throw out these bottles because they're really made very well. And I was thinking about all the different uses I could think of. And this morning I came up with about 29. Some of these I've, I've used in the past myself. And some of them are actually pretty cool. Um, so let's get started. First one, obviously, water flask. It's in a pocket. Years ago, back in the 70s, they had they had flasks made from a uh, goat skin. They were fake goat skin, but people put wine in them and they go hiking and stuff. And you'd see them in the ads. They're holding their, their head up. The cool thing about when you do it this way, you can give it to other people. You don't get cooties all over. But it makes a nice little, little flask to hold water. And the second thing is back in the 20s when liquor was illegal, everyone had a hip flask. These are very narrow and they hold a substantial amount of liquid adult beverages. So, and leak proof, it's very important. Uh, very well made cap. So if you're the type of person that requires occasional uh, lubrication, this would be something you might wanna look into. I've been looking online where people are using clear containers in the sun to purify water. I was kind of surprised at some of the evidence. It's not foolproof. It doesn't get rid of all pathogens and bio burden, but it does a good job on some uh, things that infect water. So because this is clear, now obviously because it's plastic, you're going to get hormone and, and hormone and, and endocrine disruptors and you know that's that's a that's a serious problem. But um, in the meantime <laughs> You could use this, I guess, in an emergency situation with the sunlight to help you purify water. If you want to do some more research, it's a very interesting subject. You could use it as an aquarium and raise your own sea monkeys. <laughs> Who doesn't want their own sea monkeys? I have in the refrigerator. I, I would get up and show it to you, but I have to move the tripod. Um, or you could raise give them some air. You always want to give your sea monkey some air. But yeah, you could you could have your own little aquarium with sea monkeys. You have to make a terrarium, make a little stand that would hold this and let your kids make a terrarium. You could show them how, then they could give it to your wife or girlfriend, take it to work and put it on her desk. And when her boss comes in, she could show it to her boss and explain how they're so poor. Their children have to make their own presents because they don't have enough money. Perhaps this Christmas you'll have enough money to get Tiny Tim some crutches because your husband has to carry him around on his back and make a little terrarium. I think it would be cool. I've never done it. I don't think I want to do it, but uh, you could make a snow globe. It would not, it would not be a globe, but it would be a snow bottle. I have done this before with different bottles. Take the top, put in a hole and a quarter inch uh, 20 thread screw, close it, and then well, if this is full of water so it doesn't get to go over easily, you can use it to hold your camera because the, the screw threads will go into the bottom of your camera mount on your camera. So you can be walking around, have a little, a little place to, a little tripod for your camera. If you are cheap like I do, you buy glue in the gallon size, you can use this as a glue dispenser. You can dispense very little and a very large amount. That's a lot, very good control with this, this uh, little diaphragm membrane in there. Uh, these number two, self-defense spray and self-defense fire and repellent. If you're a fiction writer and you need a, a, something for a character to defend themselves, you could have them make a spray a liquid <clears throat> to dispense against assailants. You could also have them put in a uh, flammable liquid and 
if the fictional character was in a uh, zombie apocalypse uh, scenario, if they were to, let's say there's a group of them and they don't have any pew pew pews, <laughs> your fictional character in a zombie apocalypse situation where there's no police or government authority and they're in danger of their life, they could perhaps dispense some liquid, very large amount of distance and use one of these. Um, you could uh, perhaps dispense with some people who had these because they would not want to use these if they used these to, you get the point. But only for fictional characters. In real life situations, you could end up uh, having severe legal consequences. But a fictional character in a situation that was Mad Max in the future where there were no government or police, I can never imagine it happening here. But, uh, you know, you just want to use it for fictional characters only because otherwise you would have severe consequences. But I thought I'd mention that if you're, if you're a writer, you may need to, to think of certain things for your characters. Wasp Nest Killer. Put the appropriate liquid in this. It has very good aim, very good distance. You can get far away from your wasp nest. Water squirt toy, number one, number one use for it. For kids, this goes 15 feet easy and uh, easy to fill up. And it makes a really good, so super solver toy. Um, if you're cheap like me, you make your own cleaning solutions. You want to make sure you label and date them, but uh, um, they're very handy. Ice pack and hot water bottle. I've used them both. You don't want to fill up or add too much water because it'll expand and crack. Also, if it's full of ice and if you drop it on something hard, it's brittle and it'll crack on you. It's a uh, plastic when it's frozen doesn't. It's not. It's not very durable. But uh, if you're just putting it into a uh, ice small ice chest for your lunch, it's perfect. It's perfect. Also, hot water bottle bottle at night. It's cold like it's been. It's, it's very good. Hand sanitizer. You know, last two years, everyone's become an expert in making their own hand sanitizer, although people don't do it now. But if you have any left over, put it in the car. It's always good to have. I haven't done this. I'm not sure this one will work, but I've always been interested in making my own lava lamp out of bottles. But I was wondering, since this has a liquid in it, maybe the, the, the bulb would not get this hot enough to melt. And if it didn't, you could make cool little lava lamps out of ketchup bottles. There's a guy on YouTube that it's in just sauces. You make sauces. And I've seen some really cool sauces I would like to make. And these would be the perfect dispenser. I mean, it, it's, it has ketchup sauce. I mean, it's perfect. Escape from Alcatraz. <laughs> you're, you're in Alcatraz. you got to escape. What would you do? What would I do? I would get a bunch of these, empty them, put them down my pants and up my shirt, and put tape over my sleeves and over the ends of my pants and around my waist, and my whole body would be full of, of empty bottles. And I'd make a bunch for my head so my head wouldn't go underwater. Then I'd get me a PVC tube and bend it using a, a candle or something, heat, and then make like a snorkel and put it in my mouth and float on my back. And so the, the tube would be like this so if water came over my face water wouldn't go down my my nose or my mouth so i keep breathing even if water come over my head and i would just paddle and use these to float me away from alcatraz <laughs> so that's how i'd escape alcatraz with ketchup bottles you can't keep me in this place Die pack. I used to work on the ships. I seem to remember they had die packs in the lifeboats. But you can get some Ritz dye and just fill them up. I don't know what color we'd use. And then keep on your boat as an, uh, an uh, extra life-saving aid. So help helicopters and planes to see you in the water. Because you disperse in a wide area a different color than the water is. It's going to bring attention. <sighs> Live bait lure. Stay with me. What if you fill this up with your ocean, salt water, put in some live shrimp, close the top, then put a line on your security, and then put another line with your hooks and throw it out 
And if the water was real clear, they'd see the live bait, and then they would be attracted to your other bait and, and get it. And you'd have to refresh the water so the shrimp wouldn't die. But you could just use the same shrimp over and over. Sidewalk rider. This one, I haven't seen anybody anywhere even mention this. It's my own idea. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. If you have a girlfriend, wife, and she happens to walk a certain place all the time, and if the sidewalk is really full of mold and mildew, like a southern exposure side of the trees where no sun comes, and it gets like a lot of moss or moldy, and you know, it's not white anymore, get your bleach solution. Take your Q-tip, cut it. It's hollow inside. Press that down, and then you can put this on the sidewalk and squeeze it very gently, and you can write on the sidewalk a bleach solution that's going to turn the sidewalk a different color. So you're not painting, you're not discoloring anything, you're just actually using a little bleach to take off the mold or mildew, whatever, but you're making letters. You know, you could, a uh, little Shakespeare sonnet. I'll show you the one I recommend at the end of the video. You know, very cheap valentine day uh uh romantic gesture you weren't expecting that were you put a note in the bottle you're at the beach and throw it who knows you might get an answer when i was a little kid went to the beach and uh, put a note in a bottle i wrote the word nosy on it i never expected anybody would find it very soon we were at the beach, the, the bottle went out, and then it came in up about 15, 20 yards away from us. And these people found the bottle, and they were excited, and they kept trying and trying to get the note out. And eventually they got it out, and it says, nosy. <laughs> they were mad. <laughs> it was still pretty funny. Um, toy sailboat. I actually made a toy sailboat from a shampoo bottle. I'll leave a link to it. It, it wouldn't be as good as the shampoo bottle because it had a nicer shape. But you could you could use the same method I did with the shampoo bottle and make a little toy sailboat for the kids. Pillbox, if you have something you need to keep dry. You open this up, put them in there and close it. It's going to keep very dry. Music maker. I had some Brazilian friends. They would make music out of anything. They would make little, little gourds and put gravel in them and make shaker. You could do the same thing. You could put little gravel in here and make a shaker. Or cut a hole here and glue uh, a strip of wood that you nailed or screwed some little metal prongs. And you could make a, a thumb piano. From, <laughs> you could make an ocarina. I don't know. You could, you could probably make some cool musical instruments from this. I completely forgot number 27. This is a beach fishing reel. Just take off the top and get a little stake or of wood, put it in the ground. Wrap your fishing line around the bottle with the hook and put the bottle over the, the stake or, or piece of wood and throw the line out. When you catch a fish, the fish will start taking the line off of your bottle like a little fishing reel. Nice little cool tip. This is kind of thick for an ant farm. But you put ants in there and some sand, um, you might see them on the side someplace. It would be kind of cool. If you're out with your dog and they get thirsty, you can open this up. Give them, depending how small your dog is. You know, you have a big dog, you have to fill it up several times. But <clears throat> be very... Also, you can, dogs love that, dogs love that. So guys, go check out Mayhem County Living. I think he's got a cool channel. He's kind of a variety channel. Like I've got a variety channel. A variety channel is a channel that people like for a few times and then they start seeing different videos and then they don't watch anymore. <laughs> But the people who have variety channels are the happiest people on YouTube because they just make a variety of things that they're interested in continuously forever. 16 years, 1,250 videos, one video at least every week. And this week, 
starting is 29 uses for ketchup off. Hope you like this. I got a bunch of other videos on my channel, a bunch of playlists, and cool people I feature. No relation to me down at the bottom of the channel. And uh, you never know what you're going to find because I never know what I'm going to make. All right, guys. Don't throw out stuff. Find uses for it. And uh, have fun. See you out there. Get ready for the sonnet.